Here with former Ice Hogs goaltender and current goaltending coach for the San Diego Goals and Anaheim Ducks organization, Jeff Glass. And uh, Jeff, thanks for taking the time. First of all, welcome back to the state lines. It's kind of weird here, uh, going the opposite way to the to the visitors' room. <laughs> it's funny. The guys were asking me before we got here what the visitors' room was like, and I didn't have much intel for them. It's it's uh, it's really nice to be back. Um, like we were just chatting about, our, my daughter was born here. It's two great years of my life here. So uh, it's a lot of fun to come back. The, the memories came flooding back when I got here. Was is there any maybe one specific memory or anything that kind of stood out as you're rolling back down State Street and, uh, and all of a sudden, boom, there's the BMO Center back where I used to play with the Hogs? Yeah, there's a few for sure and, and uh, all good memories. It was uh, it was my first call up to the NHL. I remember driving home from Morning Skate. I was on uh, on skate, State Street and, and uh, I got the call. So uh, there's the, there's those memories. There's, uh, you know, we went on a pretty good run in the playoffs there. Um, that was great. So it, it's, it was a lot of good times here, and um, you're right. They kind of all came flooding back at once. Well, now you're with an Anaheim Ducks organization that's a little bit uh, in a similar spot as the Blackhawks organization, right? Like rebuilding a lot of young uh, draft picks and, and prospects and things like that in your organization. What's that been like working with such a young group in San Diego? Yeah, it's, it's really exciting, uh, and especially from the coaching side. I'm uh, relatively new to this side, and to be working with young, excited players, um, it, it's fun to come to the rink every day. And uh, even when I was here in Rockford, a, a little bit of a mentorship role, and a, I was the older guy on the team, and now um, you can apply that with, with some different positions, some different players, and um, I, I've really enjoyed it. And, and yeah, I, very similar to Chicago. I think Anaheim's on the ups right now, and uh, we're building from within, and so it, that's kind of uh, what I specialize in. Did you know that you were going to go into coaching, maybe even thinking while you were in uh, the, the Ice Hogs organization, were you kind of starting to see some of those, those coaching tendrils start to, to sprawl out? Yeah, it, it's funny. I don't think I ever set out in my career to be a coach. I, I, don't, I know some guys knew they were going to be a coach. I think um, as it went on, uh, I found what I liked, what coaches I liked, and, and which coaches I didn't like, and how they, they went about their business. And um, I found it as a great opportunity to kind of do it my way as opposed to uh, maybe ways I didn't like in the past or ways I liked. Um, and a great opportunity to shout out the, the former goalie coach here, Peter Aubrey, who's uh, w one of my favorite goalie coaches I ever had and a huge influence on, on me personally and uh, as a goalie and now as a goalie coach. So it, it, was, it was taking guys like that and the way they approach coming to the rink every day and, and then now lending that, that mentorship to the next generation. Well, now let's transition to modern day where you've got a couple of 20-year-old netminders on your roster. It's got to be an interesting project for you as a first-year goalie coach, right, to, to be able to kind of mold these guys early on in their careers. Yeah, and uh, I think the fun part about working with young guys is is they're very pliable and they've learned they've had success to get here they're they're good goalies and that's why they're here but now my job is to kind of refine it and uh, teach them a few things maybe the mistakes i've been made along the way i can help prevent them from making those same mistakes and um, refining their craft now so that they know that um, it's those little things that make the big difference at this level and and we're working our way through it and it's been a lot of fun you guys have started to pick up your play a little bit as of late as a group starting to find the wind column and gather some momentum. How cool is that to see as a young group starts to gel together a little bit here? Yeah, it's been great. Um, it's a lot more fun coming to the rink when we're winning, and, and I, I think we all know that. So um, pro hockey, it, it, can, it can be ruthless at times, and I think we kind of experienced that right off the bat is everything wasn't going our way no matter what we did, and, and now we're starting to kind of create our own luck and, and work for our chances. And uh, like you said, you hit it right on the head. It's, it's a learning lesson, and, and that's what we're going through right now. And uh, the tides are starting to turn, but I think we have to continue to focus on our work ethic, and, and we'll be fine. I wanted to ask specifically about one of those guys, Sukana, who we were kind of going back and forth about a little bit earlier, uh, a guy who has seemed like he's kind of earned his way onto the team essentially out of camp. What's his progression been like? Yeah, it's, it's been awesome. And uh, it's exactly what you want to see from a young guy who uh, went undrafted and was looking for a contract. He deserves the right to play pro, but um, right from development camp, he's earned his right to stick around and um, he had every reason to not to quit or go somewhere else or find a different opportunity but um, instead he does the exact opposite and he forces us to play him uh, he forces us to continue to stay around and, and be relevant and, and um, sometimes in pro hockey that's the name of the game so he's he's done a great job he's been an awesome surprise for our organization and, and we hope he keeps rolling well, we look forward to seeing him out there tonight. We look forward to seeing you back here at the, sure. the state line. Glad to see you back here in, in Rockford, and uh, thanks for the time. Yeah, my pleasure. Thank you.